Hi, in this video I just want to show you how can you make your own levels. I have been testing one of these add-ons called uh, call out titles or something like that. I just paid one dollar for it and I try to test it and it works quite properly. You just need to add the install the add-on, sorry then drag and drop and that's it you have this thing uh, which i think you can rotate so let's see if i rotate on x like 90 no like rotating x minus 90 i think it will work as you can see this is the call out it's uh, pretty simple to use and it works quite nice quite nice I would say for example if you want to scale you can put things like like this here I'm trying to just add levels to an static image if you want to test this add-on I think it could be really awesome and it works also with videos uh, what I want to show you in this video is to create your own levels for free let's say so I've created these things, but is this, this is just an example. So this is the explanation. I'm gonna make it bigger so we can see how it works. Bound by uh, Taurus, as you can see here, followed by a uh, simple plane followed by other plane i'm going to correct this just to make this perfect by another like this and a level here i can put whatever i want you can place it and then, for example, if you want to put all this together in this uh, box, just push G, X, and that's all. You can then scale it and frame it inside. Or, for example, we can do something different. Is G, Y, and then uh, something like this will work one important thing is to take into account that this is like a hierarchy so this is like a change of parenting objects all ending in the torus so if i move the torus let's say if all this is closed if i pick just the torus it moves everything so for example i can came here and say this is a, a fence for example I could then rescale this and if I want to double it for example just make safety and then I'm going to mark something here what is uh, flowers why not Yeah, uh, imagine that I want this like totally oriented downwards or just the other side. You can just do this again. This just rotating Y 180 and as you can see the text is also rotating Y 180. This is a pretty simple way to change the orientation imagine that you want this backwards yeah uh, i mean downwards so just for example double this i'm gonna scale it for make it a little bit uh, smaller i can uh, reorient this by rope I guess it's X now 
180. Perfect. And we can even rotate the other side. So again, rotate Y 180. That's it. And then this is totally backwards. So rotate X. Sorry. Rotate X Y. Nope. And rotate Y. Rotate. Rotate what? Rotate Z. And now I want it rotate Y. That's it. Finally. So, well, there's, it is a little bit tricky when you try to rotate, but you can take notice of this. Uh, that's all. You can duplicate these things and put it wherever you want. Another extra tip. Let's say that you want in, you want to change a little bit the the axis or the 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 sticks. Let's say you can do the following. If the parenting is correct, you can, for example, pick the part that you want to rotate just with G. Sorry, you can just pick this part G or this part G. Put it like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, let's say here, for example, you can do this. Now we have to connect this stick to this torus. This is a little bit more weird. Maybe there's a better shortcut to do this. But what I do normally is to select the stick, press edit with tab and just pick the vertices that you want to connect to the torus. And that's it. With G, you can connect it. It makes something weird because some vertices are stick to the position so so with g you can place them in the right position so you can see now that this stick has some thickness in it Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find something interesting on it and make your own levels. See you soon.